In our prime time tonight, a concerned Grenadian is appealing for increased attention to be placed on the agricultural sector. Terry Noel believes that if careful attention is not paid to the sector, it will result in its total destruction. Here's our lead story. The plans we can go forward with in terms of enhancing our education. We need to seriously decentralize the development of the state. The rural economy is on a downward spiral. That's according to a concerned citizen who highlighted that it needs to be resuscitated before it is totally destroyed. Terry Noel, a part-time lecturer at Tam CC who resides in St. Andrew, believes that nothing meaningful comes to the parish because much emphasis is being placed mostly in the tourism belt, which is St. George's. St. Andrew, he says, is known for farming and generating a wide variety of produce. He asserts that this focus has now changed and tourism now seems to be a thing of the day. Noel highlighted that when a government refuses to invest in agriculture the way they should, then they are basically heading for destruction. There should be a linkage with agriculture and tourism. And when we have some of these investors and hotels and so on come on stream, um, what is happening that some of these deals that we are signing, um, we need to make provisions for the agriculture sector and the farmers. Fruits, he says, are spoiling and nothing meaningful is being done with it. Manufacturing factories should be developed. Then what is wrong with having these actually, um, these, these engaging in light manufacturing where the state could benefit? Because so far we have been actually really producing nothing. The wealth, he said, is not being shared, as only St. George is benefiting from the major construction development, while St. Andrew is being left out. Grenada economy, and I will repeat, will never reach its fullest potential if we re remain as a centralized, um, econ with the centralized economic development where money would circulate around the, the, the entire country itself and for the benefit of everyone in general. No, I believe a special budget should be set aside for St. Andrew. I think we need to have a, a, a special budget that, uh, in the interest of St. Andrews because, as we know, uh, in the past, St. Andrews has been the breadbasket of the entire nation. And um, we need to pay, pay uh, actually special emphasis on agriculture um, in St. Andrews. St. Andrew Noel reports is not just lagging behind infrastructure development, but sports, agriculture, and youth development. For WPG10, I am Rachel Bain.